I'm a Lindsay this year because usually when you go to church, you just like hide by a bunch of people and you have your small group of people that you really do talk to. But I think through this year, we kind of got in a little bit more personal with one another mm. instead of just being high and how you used to just be. So I, I like that best about this year, even though it was a crazy one. I'm glad that we all, you know, are learning more about each other in a different way. Yeah. Start of unity. I just had a girl and a three boys. <laughs> my son is a girl. And these are my three main ones. My children, my daughter, <laughs> no matter what. And I am super, super happy because they, Lamar gave me one daughter over there. <laughs> um, I am super grateful for my family, for my kids. And um, this is one of my rough times. Mm. He's okay. But I'm really thankful for this type of unity because it's kind of a whole lot of for us to get. Thank God for you all and thank you all for treating me like a mother. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Why are you gonna make me cry? God, you're not crying into my mask. <laughs> now my mask is gonna be wet. <laughs> it's okay. You know, make me put you on time. Right? I think for me, um, the change that I wanna make going forward is to be more intentional about staying in contact with like my extended family because mm -hmm. that's one thing like my dad's side of the family like I didn't really know them for real and because because um the quarantines and lockdowns and things have made it so that people are conscious of doing things like zoom meetings mm -hmm. and you know like video calls like that I've been able to have these long conversations and meetups with my family on my dad's side, which has never happened. So we had, like I was able to be on, the, on a call with all of my dad's siblings um, for Thanksgiving. So it was all of his siblings and a bunch of my cousins. Um, yeah, it's including my dad, it's nine of them. So having all of them on a call and I'm like texting my dad, like, who is this? And he's like, that's your uncle. And I'm like, oh, okay. Their stories you know, yeah, listening to their stories about how, when they were growing up and the shenanigans that they got into and all kinds of stuff. And then um, a couple weeks after that, I had a conversation with one of my aunts where she was telling me about all the crafting and making stuff that she does. And so we're very much the same that way, but I never would have known. You know, so I want to be more intentional about staying in contact and reaching out to my family members because it's important, you know, mm -hmm. and one thing that this year has definitely like brought to the forefront is how quickly things change, mm -hmm. you know, even on a general basis with the job, I started my job in January. And then by late February, the school is shutting down and they're like, take your computer home. You're working from home now. So just how quickly your whole life can change. It's very important to stay in touch with those people who in different ways have made you who you are. So that, that is the thing that I want to do going forward when it comes to unity in the family. I'm crying into my mask again. <laughs> Well, thank you all for participating in day one of Kwanzaa. Umoja. Umoja is um, the name of the principal and it means unity.
You know, so each is the thing you put on your phone. Yes. <laughs> Which is what I meant, by the way. <laughs> oh. Emoji for <laughs> Oh my gosh. Y'all are the worst. Yes. If I could find the Christmas song that you know, I would say. I and rewrite it as a Kwanzaa song? No, I just do the one. What do you think? Oh, so I should sit up. You should sit up. Lamar's being an old man. He left the party so he'd go to sleep. That's what happens when you when you become an elder. This means I'm elderly. You are elderly. So he's gonna open his stocking now. Babe, can you hold that up just so that we can show the? <laughs> it's bigger than like your torso. Oh my. And it's full of stuff. Because I'm awesome. First, we have Ghirardelli um, milk chocolate pumpkin spice caramel squares. That's a gift from Heather. Well, from me by way of Heather. <laughs> <laughs> An impossible puzzle. 100 pieces. This is small for 100 pieces. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just these trees. Yep. Oh, boy, that's going to be special. But I'm, in the, I'm a carcass. I I'm believe in you. It. I believe in you. The world's smallest Uno. You got that one already. A shirt may not fit. I don't know. Which one I think should fit? Okay. I know, I know, I'm awesome. Let's not make a big deal about it. This is a very accurate shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Is that everything? Uh, I think so. I know. Reach down yeah, to the bottom. Down. There might be something else in there. My Mary Poppins stocking. Oh, there's something else in there. Ooh, more chocolate. White chocolate eggnog. That one is also for you by way of Heather. Thank you, Heather. I love eggnog, and I like white chocolate also. That's why it's in your stocking. I think that's everything. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Can you open mine since I'm filming from over here? Oh, Lord. Okay, and you got to pretend you're me. You're not pretending you're me. Okay. Okay. We're going to fight. Oh, yeah. It's a shirt, and it says just black, because that's what I is. I am just black. Just black. Blackity black. For anybody that has any questions about my ethnicity, mm -hmm. it's me I'm just black. Christian. I'm not from Jamaica. I'm not from any island. Just black. That is because this lady, one time at church, wanted to argue me down, telling me I was Jamaican. And I was like, no, ma'am, I'm, I'm black, like I'm African-American black, like ancestors with slaves in America black. How do you know? You don't know. And she was like, how do you know? You don't know. <laughs> with all that hair, you have to be something. So because I have a lot of hair on Jamaican, that's, that's I felt I felt militant Kalisha rising up in me. Black powered Kalisha was rising up and I had to take a breath and go inside and tell Lamar to help me sit down. And he was he was very supportive in my sitting down. 